So you clicked on this video because you own a gimbal and you need a few more tips and tricks on how to use it. Or you don't own one yet but you really want a gimbal. Or hear me out, you just like to watch content about camera gear. Either way, welcome to my channel and I hope you'd enjoy yourself. There is a few tips that I would like to share with you on how to use a gimbal and the kind of shots that you can get with one. Now I'm not an expert on this but I have been using a gimbal for around a year now. If you are thinking about getting a gimbal then I would 200% recommend it. So I would suggest pause this video, go online, order one, come back and press play again. If you are doing a lot of video work then a gimbal is definitely the way to go. But if you are not ready for a gimbal yet, I do have another video on my channel on how to shoot handheld. So I'll leave that in the description down below. Tip number one, make sure your gimbal is 100% stabilized. If it isn't, then your gimbal will start to shake at certain angles. Now it isn't difficult to stabilize your gimbal, but it does take some practice. If you'd like to see on how to exactly stabilize the Zayun Weeble S, just leave a comment down below and I will upload a video on exactly how to do that. Tip number two, settings. Go through all the settings on your gimbal and make sure you understand everything. If you understand the capabilities of your equipment, then you'll find it a lot easier and way more comfortable to shoot with. I forgot to turn my extra lights on and I think this looks a little bit better. Tip number three, movement. Now if you do shoot with a gimbal, that doesn't mean you can run and jump and go crazy and you'll still have smooth footage. You still have to concentrate on your movement and what you are shooting. So when you are walking and using the gimbal, bend your knees slightly and move the gimbal with your body. And then also try to walk as slow as possible and that will help to reduce that bounce factor. Tip number four, camera movements. Now there is a lot of different camera movements, so don't get overwhelmed. Just teach yourself a few, and then you can add more to your skill set when you are comfortable and ready. So I'm going to give you three different camera movements that I always use. The first move I like to call the drone shot. Start at a low angle while walking and bring up the gimbal over your head so that it looks like a drone taking off and flying. Number two, the reveal shot. Keep the gimbal at chest level and start from a wall or even plants. Then start panning left or right to reveal your subject or person. Number three, the 360 degree barrel roll. This is a very cool function on this gimbal and this is how it works. Double press on the POV button and the camera will shoot straight up. Then you can use the joystick to rotate the camera in full 360. You can make a pretty decent video with just those three movements alone. So go out there and practice with your gimbal. Tip number five, and this is the last one and the most important out of all of them. Just have fun while making videos. Not everything has to be professional and serious. Now, not everyone will love your work, but I mean, who cares? You can't please everyone, just as long as you enjoy it. So just be you and do the best that you can. All right, I know, so that was actually just four tips but that's still more than enough to get you started if you are new to using a gimbal. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit that button. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.